Hi everyone, welcome. Uh, if you're uh, in Melbourne, give me a shout out. We're all in lockdown. Uh, wherever you are in the world, uh, you know, let me know. Um, put up your questions today. Uh, we'll see where we go with allowing spirit to uh, give response and give answers. Um, it's uh, one of those things where at the moment um, it's a little bit slow on my end. So hopefully the speed of the internet uh, isn't going to be too painful. Um, <clears throat> Hi uh, everyone, welcome aboard. Um, as I said, uh, today we're going to actually be doing some mini reads. So uh, if you do have questions or if you do have uh, a particular area that you're struggling in, uh, it would be really great to hear from you um, and let's kind of fire off. Um, of course, uh, if you don't have any uh, particular questions, uh, if I happen to be drawn to you, I do hope by your participants that you acknowledge that um, Spirit may uh, choose to address you. Um, hi, um, hi, Sharon. Nice to connect with you, darling. Um, normally, Spirit does uh, give me a topic or a particular area that they would like me to talk about on a public platform. Uh, in this occasion, uh, as I said, it's um, surrounding a little bit more uh, relevant to uh, bits and pieces for questions and answers and I guess everybody's going through a little bit of stress and a little bit of whatnot especially if you're in Melbourne um, now uh, just as we're kind of moving across um, of course the messages are coming in a little bit thick and fast for me to play catch up um, Angela Simone uh, can you give me a little bit of a acknowledgement that you can uh, pick up that you're hearing me um, Angela, uh, there's lots of different things going on around you at the moment, but the main thing that they're focusing on for you is family. Uh, so they're acknowledging family goals, family ambitions, a little bit there around financials and a little bit of struggle and worry, but they do want you to know that everything is going to work out okay. You're a little bit of an overthinker, so just try to uh, put everything into perspective so that everything is working in a way where uh, it's prioritized because you jump around from one thing to another and then back again and then one thing to another. Um, spirit can't always keep up with you. So please do keep that in mind. Okay. Thanks, Angela Simone. Um, I do hope that has given you a little bit of the guidance that you're looking for. Uh, basically, you are heading in the right direction and you are on track. You just need to keep the focus. Okay. Uh, okay, so somebody put here, Angela Phillips, if you can hear me nice and clearly, uh, looking for some guidance around my gut health and love. Okay, um, let's deal with the gut health side of it first, Angela, because they do show me in the lower region there uh, a bit to do with the digestive system. They do tell me that there was a bit of change in eating regime and a little bit to do with uh, certain things that you're trying to avoid to see what actually uh, is affecting you and what's not affecting you. Um, they are acknowledging that uh, with the gut side of it, it's not so much about losing weight. It's more about irritability. So I'm going to suggest that there's a bit, a bit of irritable bowels going on. A lot of this seems to be happening more so in the large intestine versus the small intestine. So it just means that uh, some of the alkaline, some of the pH levels for you are slightly out. Um, but you are on the right track. They tell me that you're looking at doing some juicing or doing some other alternatives just to sort of aid that gut problem. So I do hope that... Uh, by knowing that you're doing the right thing for yourself, you're heading in that right direction, okay? Uh, we've got here uh, Talia King. Uh, may I have some help around the work area? Okay, um, Talia, work-wise, uh, they do tell me that you've already made some changes with work, okay? Um, but we're settling into some of those changes with those changes, they also are acknowledging there's a possibility uh, at looking at some studies and looking at some other alternatives. I would highly recommend uh, at this moment not to make too many changes on the work front. Um, there is some work there for you, but it keeps coming across like as casual or self-employed or there's some other changes that you're wanting to make. Um, do keep in mind that you're already heading that in the right direction. Again, a little bit too much of you... Um, being a now person and wanting it all to happen so quickly and so instantly, um, slow it down, okay? Uh, you're in a rush and you're in a hurry. I'm not really sure why you're going to be here for a long time. So uh, take it slower and go a little bit easier with yourself, okay? Uh, we've got Lauren uh, Riley here. Lauren's looking at fertility. Um, 
Okay, would be interesting. Uh, Lauren, uh, I'm not being shown necessarily uh, huge difficulties with the fertility side of things. Um, they're just suggesting uh, timing. So uh, often what happens is the soul on the other side, uh, they are being a bit particular and they're being a little bit pedantic about the day of entry. Um, the date of entry is really important to attributes for their personality and uh, the individuals that they're going to meet on their path and on their journey, whether that be through school, through uh, career and so forth. Um, try not to uh, put too much energy on the when. Um, what they're saying here is um, the situation is that um, conception is available to you. So what's more important is knowing that you can, okay? Um, so again, uh, slowing that down, all right? Um, we've got Simone... Uh, Simone, I'm going to try this bring them on camera thing. I haven't done that before. So, oh, sorry, Simone, it won't let me bring you on camera. Unfortunately, uh, I'm doing this actually off my phone. So it makes it a little bit more complicated. Um, if you want to come back down into the bottom area and hit me up with a question, uh, we can definitely go down that path of it. Okay. Um, I will keep that in mind uh, next time and use my computer rather than my actual phone. Okay. Um, where are we? Uh, uh, we've got um, Laura Lou uh, Blondie, I think it is. Laura Lou Blondie. Gee, I need new glasses, everybody. Um, I apologize. I should really clarify. I don't use cards, okay? So all the information, everything that you hear from me is directly coming in from spirit. Um, I uh, never have been great with tarot cards or any of the other tools um, that are available. Uh, I'm the instrument, so what um, spirit hands is what you get. So um, again, uh, it's not Haley giving the information. Uh, at this stage, I don't know which one of my 12 guides I'm working with. It's really sort of irrelevant. Uh, what's most important is just getting those messages out as quickly as I possibly can so that I can get to as many of you as I can, of course. Um, so back to Laura Lou. I do hope that I've pronounced that correctly. Um, it says, hi, how are you? Please, can I have some general guidance? Thanks. Um, Laura, uh, one of the areas that uh, they do tell me that you're creating some focus on is about the people that you're choosing in your lifestyle. Uh, this could be friends. This could also be connections with work colleagues and so forth. You're being a lot pickier now because your trust has been broken. Do you understand this? Okay. Um, they're acknowledging that because you're using your intuition and you're using your instinct a little bit better than what you have been in the past um it may come across to others as though you're withdrawing although you're pulling away when that's not exactly correct you're really just being a little bit more thinking through what your needs are as far as the connections that you're making Again, you're heading all of that in the right direction and making sure that you are the number one priority because when I look backwards, they show me you're not very good at saying no. Uh, you tend to want to please a lot of people and make a lot of people happy, which is gorgeous. It's a beautiful trait to have. Generosity of mind and generosity of time, of course, is one of the most beautiful attributes that we can have as people. But they are saying in the past, you've allowed a lot of people to take advantage of you and you've not always been good with realizing that until it's a little bit too late. So now there's this part of you that's stripping it back and saying, hang on a second, I'm first, me first, and then allowing the right connections and the right people to share in that space with you, which is fantastic. So lovely to see that you're not holding space for everybody anymore, uh, that it is a selective people uh, in your presence, which for me is perfect, okay? So moving along, uh, we have got, doo -doo -doo, moving up, moving up. Uh, Sophie Adams, uh, it says, hi, we'd love to know regarding health and career. Uh, Sophie, if I had to choose between uh, these two particular topics, uh, the one topic that I would rather have a look at for you at the moment is a little bit around the career side of things. Um, they do tell me that uh, work-wise, things have been a little bit disruptive, a little bit up and down. Uh, part of that has been changes within uh, the environment, so different people that have come and gone. Uh, you aren't somebody who's very good with um, people uh, watching over the shoulder. Do you understand this? Okay. Um, that bulldog feel. I can see that that's starting to ease off now and you're allowing yourself to just acknowledge, clock on, do the job, clock off, go the hell home and not allow yourself to get so emotionally involved with the rest of the environment, okay? Um, from a career point of view, there is some changes on the horizon for you. Uh, you've already started to make some provisions towards all of that. You're just not rushing it along. Uh, you are being strategic, thinking through those patterns of what you've done in the past and what you would like to do for 
futuristically. So you've already got a handle on all of that, Dal. You don't really need a great deal of advice from me. Uh, more of it is acknowledging what is it that you're passionate about and how to drive that passion forward, okay? Um, they do put a question mark in front of me that tells me that there's a possibility of having something that's like your own business, uh, also a possibility of having something that um, is like a secondary or a sidestep thing uh, until you're ready to grow that into something more. But of course, that's entirely up to you, okay? Uh, we've got here Katie Newhams. Um, and guys, if I am talking too fast, because I can do this when Spirit's just taking off on a little tangent on their own, um, can you just put a note in there somewhere that says, hey, Hayley, can you slow it down? Um, that'd be really good. Um, really, really would appreciate that. Um, so uh, Katie Newhams, I think it is uh, in that pronunciation. Uh, Katie... Um, uh, you've got a lot of attention surrounding relationship there, lovey, uh, romantic relationship. And I keep being shown there's a bit of push and pull in this partnership. Uh, one minute it feels like it's moving along really quite well. And then the next minute it feels like you don't quite know where you're at with this person. Um, it keeps coming back around to communication being a bit more of the key. Uh, the connection is there, but it still keeps being shown to me that uh, it feels a little bit one-sided. I wouldn't agree that it is one-sided. Um, I think it's more um, because the communication's not on point, the other person um, isn't necessarily meeting all of your needs. And I think you need to clarify that for them, how to actually do that. We make assumptions that people should know what we want and they should know what we're feeling and what we're thinking uh, by our body language or by our even non-spoken language. Uh, in this particular instance, Han, um, I feel like the character's not picking up what you're putting down and therefore you need to outline this a little bit better, okay? Uh, be a little bit more clearer so that those miscommunications can be avoided, all right? Uh, best of luck in relationship there, uh, Katie Newhames. And I do hope I'm pronouncing everybody's names correctly. Uh, honestly, I don't really have a lot of time to look at all those bits and pieces. I'm too busy listening and seeing what spirit's throwing at me. Uh, like I said, can go uh, a mile a minute. And of course, I really wanna try and get through as many people as possible uh, in this short time that we're got okay uh we've got janine barker um hi if you're drawn to me uh love a message thank you uh janine i have a younger woman uh in spirit she's of a similar age to you uh, she's wanting to acknowledge uh, being very much around you at the moment. She keeps talking about giving you guidance, okay? She keeps saying there's so many different things that you want to achieve and that you want to accomplish and you kind of bundle it all into one thing, uh, stack it up on itself and then wait until everything implodes. You're not being patient with yourself, yet you apply all this patience with everybody else around you and you've got all the time in the world for everything else that they need. But when it comes to you and what you need for yourself, you want to rush it along. You want to speed it all up. So what she's asking for you to do is take time out, okay? She can't help give you information, uh, clarity, um, guidance if your mind is too cluttered. Please find time to meditate. You discuss this with yourself a lot. Uh, you tell yourself that you're going to make room for it, but then when push comes to shove, you dismiss it, okay? So she's asking for you now to uh, make that time, okay? It's kind of like making an appointment with spirit, okay? This is what she's asking of you. Make an appointment with me. Uh, try to give yourself the same time every day. Uh, she'll know then how to step in and how to uh, shape a little bit of that information so that the things that actually are important become the priorities and the things that you don't need to deal with, you can leave them to the side, okay? Uh, she's definitely going to be pushing and helping you, but you've got to help her help you and that's making room for her, okay? So that one's coming in directly from a guide for you, all right? Uh, at this point, uh, she's not giving me any information about who she is, whether she's a loved one, whether she's just a guide. Uh, for now, we'll just leave it as a guide. And if that changes and I need to come back to it, then I will. Uh, we've got somebody else pushing in, so I'm just going to keep moving along here. Um, we've got Eva uh, asking about higher purpose with my partner. Um, Eva, with this particular partnership, um, there have been a couple of different struggles and it's probably inappropriate to overly talk about it uh, in a platform like this. Um, I like things to have a little bit of uh, room for discretion uh, simply because I think that uh, everybody doesn't need to know your business. So 
Um, with this particular partnership, what I will say to you is there is a lot of potential here and there is a lot of room for growth if you're both willing to meet each other a little bit better halfway. I keep being shown that you put a lot of the energy and put a lot of the effort into the relationship and you don't always feel that you yield the return, okay? So one of the things that I would like to see you doing is... Um, revisiting the way that you're communicating with each other. So rather than it being just, um, this is what I need and this is what I'd like to achieve, etc., cetera, um, revisiting the conversation so it's a bit clearer about we, this is what we should be doing or this is what we could be doing, um, this is our goals, um, this is about us. Um, sometimes it's very I, I, I um, by accident, of course. I don't feel it's with intention, but I can see that partner feels as though everything is only one way when that's not really what you're saying. You are open to hearing from them. You're open to experiencing from them all the multitude of different things that they also want to achieve in their path and in their journey. Um, but I can see by accident, because you are the one who's a bit clearer on what your goals are, what your ambitions are, that you're racing along a little bit and you're in a way waiting for them to play a little bit of catch up. That doesn't mean that you're uh, not compatible. In fact, it does mean that you are. If one's going a little bit too fast, we can slow them down by the other person being a little bit slower. If the person's too slow, then we can also bring them up to meet a little bit somewhere in the middle. Uh, it's just that uh, occasionally I can see the other person's uh, communication isn't necessarily happening, not because they feel that they're going to be shut down or not because they feel that you don't have time for them, to hear all the bits that they want. It, it's more actually because uh, in the past, uh, they've not been very good with sharing of themselves. I keep feeling like my throat chakra gets a little bit choked up, uh, which also would tell me that they're feeling a little bit like uh, they can't put their thoughts and their emotions together to create the one um, explanation or what they're thinking and feeling and bridge them together. A little bit of patience here with this relationship. Uh, there is still a lot for both of you to learn. Uh, I think a lot of old parts of previous relationships are playing too much influence in the now relationship, and that's an area that you guys have got to work on, okay? Uh, we've got here Janine Brody uh, would love health, please. Uh, Janine, uh, I'm being told that... Um, there's been a bit of focus on uh, really wanting to get back into an eating regime, a physical regime, a uh, better sleep pattern, uh, overall better lifestyle health-wise. And I can see that you've already created a bit of a pattern with what your uh, end goals are. But what they're asking you to do, rather than thinking about what you want to achieve in the end, they're asking you to celebrate the smaller milestones. So what that would be, say for example, if you wanted to lose 10 kilos, let's just use that as an example, uh, rather than pushing and pushing and pushing to get to that 10 kilo and celebrating it up there, uh, what they're saying is, um, when you've done a kilo, celebrate the kilo, right? Because it's still a great accomplishment. Um, with the health side of things, uh, there has been some parts that are also in the lower back uh, for you and also in the uh, gut region as well, uh, the lower stomach and the women's area. So there's a couple of different things kind of going on. Uh, when I com uh, combined all of that together, uh, it shows me very much hormones being a little bit out of whack. Uh, what I would encourage is maybe something like a multivitamin or uh, something that just helps ease some of that hormonal part while you're working on yourself. Um, also a little bit maybe uh, juicing and uh, perhaps eating a little bit green or a little bit cleaner, which I can see you've already started to do, um, just so that the focus on health is the whole picture, not just a goal that you're trying to set, okay? Other than that, gorgeous, you're heading in the right direction, so we're all good here, okay? Uh, we got Angela Simone, sweetheart, my love, uh, because I have already addressed you uh, today, we're going to skip on to the next person. Uh, but Angela, uh, one of the things that I think would be more appropriate is for that conversation to be held more privately. I think things are relevant to um, people who are ill or people who are not in a great space. Um, they lend, lend more to a bit of a private platform. Uh, sometimes people who are going through circumstances may not wish to have all of that kind of done in a public platform. Uh, so moving across now, we've got Danny. Can I please have a general reading? Uh, it would be my second time ever. 
Uh, Danny, it's beautiful to see that you are naturally becoming a little bit more inquisitive about the spiritual side of things and wanting to explore it a little bit more. Um, I do feel that there's been a number of different experiences you've actually had for yourself along the path and along the journey. Uh, you've probably dismissed them as coincidence or uh, perhaps even looked at them and kind of thought, oh, well, you know, um, I I'm crazy or I'm just thinking it. Uh, but they are showing me, um, Danny, as you start to explore and as you start to uh, delve into this a little bit, better uh, spirit will start to offer you a little bit more information um, in regards to it being a little bit more generalized for you uh, they do show me that uh, there's some question marks about moving on the horizon uh, this move doesn't necessarily mean that physically from home or anything like that uh, it could also be movement in regards to career or other aspects um, so there's definitely some changes on the horizon um, the fact that they're showing me boxes though would suggest that there's definitely going to be uh, a move of some form um, they tell me that uh, current environment hasn't been ideal for you. Uh, even though you're content to a point, uh, there's still a part of you not feeling like this is 100% home, okay? Um, so uh, a shift on the horizon for your love. So I do hope that helps you uh, recognize a little bit of where you're at and what you're doing, okay? Uh, we've got Jordine here asking, what does the future hold for my boyfriend and I? Um, Jordina, uh, while there've been some hiccups in that relationship and we'll call it some teething issues and a few times where uh, you both have felt a little bit tethered by the way the relationship's been moving, um, I don't feel that at this moment, neither of you are willing to work on those uh, issues or those concerns. Probably, if anything, um, the one thing is you're very ready for commitment and very ready to settle down and, you know, create that whole uh, dynamic of future together. Um, he's kind of stepping back just a little bit from that, not because he doesn't envision it being a possibility with you. Uh, it's more a part of him that says, I need to still work out some of my own things. And part of that is career, part of that is financial, uh, part of that is how does he bring all of that together when he, at some point in the journey, might need to be a provider for you or he might need to be a provider for children that you may then go on to have. Um, there's this part of him that at this moment doesn't feel that he's got all his ducks in a row. Uh, and when I'm looking at his strategic planning, uh, they are slightly out of alignment with yours. Um, and when that happens, it doesn't mean that the partnership can't work. It just means that you're compromising with each other needs to be a little bit better and getting each other on the same page needs to be a little bit better. So that's what you guys have got to work on. Um, it's great that you know what you want, uh, but you have to be respectful that at this moment, he doesn't quite know where he's at. Um, he's got some idea, but he still needs time. So I'm being shown a little bit of patience there, Dal, okay? Uh, hi, uh, hi, how are you? Would like some spirit message. Thank you. Uh, Laura, uh, Laura Lee, uh, as we've already addressed you tonight, we're going to keep pushing along. Um, again, uh, there is still a person floating around here that's relevant to you, um, but uh, not wanting to do it in this particular platform. So I'm not going to push that along. Okay, Dal. Um, We've got Sharon Stanbridge. Okay, uh, would love a message if you're drawn to me. Uh, hi, Sharon. Um, you're a bit of an old soul, sweetheart. You're naturally quite spiritual yourself. Uh, there's no reason why you couldn't be doing a lot of what I'm doing. Uh, you just don't trust your instinct and intuition and your wisdom enough to know that what you're saying uh, the other person can relate to. Uh, naturally being drawn to spirit all the way through your path and journey there, my love. Um, again, uh, just recognizing that uh, from a spiritual point of view, um, you don't need to be thinking about what the other person is receiving, okay? as the receiver uh, sometimes because a lot of the things that we talk about are futuristic 
it would be unnatural for them to relate to absolutely everything in a session. It, it, it just doesn't work like that. Uh, later on uh, in hindsight or later on uh, in their private space uh, when they're actually getting on with life and not thinking too much about what they're doing and where they're at, that's when they recognize, oh, hang on a second, I do remember somebody said that to me. And I can see, Sharon, that's happened to you a lot of times in your life where people are like, oh, remember, Sharon, you spoke about that or remember you said that. Um, would love to see you working on your spiritual self a little bit more so uh, and being res less reliant on hearing from someone like myself when you're just as gifted yourself, okay? Uh, so work on that there for yourself, all right, loving? All right, uh, we've got D Stella, uh, new here. We'd love a general reading, please. Hi, D. Um, yours is quite interesting, darling, because it's jumping around from one topic to another topic to another topic. Uh, what they're showing here is uh, one thing after another after another. Um, in many ways, uh, spirit's kind of thrown a lot of things at you. Uh, you've bitten off more than you can chew uh, just at the moment. Uh, a little bit suffocated with uh, relationships and not being able to say the things that you need to say. Uh, that doesn't necessarily mean romantic relationship. That could be friendship. That can be family. It could be all of them. Um, but they do show me feeling a little bit stuck in a rut and feeling like everything's kind of coming at you. My advice to you, um, D, is to sit down with yourself and uh, rather than focusing on all the things that are a little bit negative going on around you at the moment, uh, write down all the things that uh, actually get, bring you joy. And it could be something like going for a walk brings me joy. Uh, sitting and reading a book brings me joy. Um, kind of uh, redirecting some of that thought pattern and some of that energy uh, rather than uh, all of that kind of toxicity that you kind of got going on at the minute. And that doesn't mean that everything's falling apart. Um, it just means that uh, right now, uh, the weight that you bear, the the pressure that you've got on your head and shoulders at the moment is just too much for you, Del. Um, you just have to make room for you. And that's one of the things that you're not so good with doing um, is making yourself the number one person in your story. Okay, so I'd love to see you doing that. Um, we've got Kylie Demuni, Kyla Demoni. Oh God, I'm sorry if I've said that wrong. Uh, would love any message that comes through for me. Um, hi, Kylie, welcome aboard. Um, Kylie, uh, have you ever considered reading a book um, that is very much about uh, your own path and your own journey? Um, they show me writing this down, writing down the information, uh, being very uh, detailed about the storyline, uh, who the characters are. Uh, it, it kind of has a fiction tale to it, but I feel that it's based on uh, true story or real life. Um, they keep showing me uh, there's a lot of information in this book uh, that um, I think others uh, can learn from as well as I think writing it, you're going to learn a lot about yourself all over again. Um, so there's something there. Uh, if you ever decide that you want to do it, they're suggesting, you know, she can write a book. Um, again, uh, you're naturally very creative as well. So there's other aspects of creativity that you want to explore a little bit more as well as some spiritual stuff that you want to explore a little bit more. Uh, whether you bring all of that together and that's part and parcel of the book, I'm not really sure. They're not being very clear on any of that. Um, but they keep showing me uh, cognitive um, is starving. It's, it's waiting for you to kick it into gear to move that stimulation along. So definitely something for you to think about uh hi to tanya and kim and maureen hunt that are all watching uh we've got angela um uh, saying thanks can hear you that's gorgeous angela thank you so much for coming into all of that there um we have got Ruchita, um, hello from Sydney, uh, would love some guidance please. Um, gee, I hope I've said your name right, sweetheart, I really do, um, really, really bad with names and of course um, as the messages are coming in, they, I have to keep scrolling back down to catch the name that I'm at. Um, welcome aboard from Sydney, uh, of course, um, being uh, in Sydney you've got a lot of uh, bits and pieces that are happening with COVID and so forth uh, at the moment, all of that seems to be all okay. Uh, I keep being shown work-wise everything is now a little bit more stable because it was a little bit up and down for you. Um, one of the things that seems to keep coming up when I'm looking at you, darling, uh, is your your worries about money, okay? They keep showing me worries about money. 
And what they keep saying here is uh, she's got some really big goals that she's wanting to achieve, she's wanting to accomplish, and financially uh, worrying whether or not we're going to get to it, whether or not we're going to achieve it. You are a natural goal setter, sweetheart. So when um, you're thinking through those ideas or thinking through these bits and pieces that you want to do, they're asking you to work on the smaller things that cost uh, rather than the bigger things. As you chisel off the smaller things, then you'll feel like you're accomplishing it and then we can come back around to the bigger things okay um, it's gorgeous that there are so many different things that you want to achieve on a financial level you're just putting way too much financial pressure on yourself they're showing me weighing yourself down bogging yourself down um, and not stopping to go okay hang on a second um, I've got all that I need I've got you know roof over the head clothing on the back food on the table but what I want to do is I want to save I want to put this money aside to achieve my next set of goals but they are showing me on track heading in the right direction not being wasteful with money and thinking it through. Um, part of that, I think, is also with partnership. Um, their goals and your goals are slightly not quite on that same page as well. So again, just having to communicate that with each other so that we can be back on track to prioritizing. Um, all the best with that, my love. Uh, we've got Eleanor and Anne and Gabby watching. Hi, guys. We've got Cassie. Um, Cassie Morgan. Oh, God. Caesars. I don't know look shoot me later uh we'd love some guidance in moving forward um cassie uh moving forward uh is a, is a very complicated thing okay because sometimes in our path and in our journey it may feel that we're stuck right we're never actually stuck spirits just aligning things so that when the next path opens up or the next chapter opens up in our lives, it's opening it up for right timing, okay? Um, and I can see that um, there's been a couple of things that would be considered obstacles or perhaps um, situations and circumstances that have uh, altered a little bit of what you thought was your original path or the direction that you were going to go. Uh, I can see now um, you're starting to uh, maneuver around those things and part of that has been letting go of your past because I keep being shown your past has actually been your greatest uh, hindrance. Uh, you're always reflecting backwards of oh, if I had done it like this or if I could have done it like that um, and then using that as the motivator to move forward. Um, what I would like to see you doing now is saying you know what the past is what it is can't change any of that crap has been uh, done and dusted. Let's move that across to the side. And what I'd like to see now is you being able to say, I am okay with not knowing exactly what my future will hold, but I am confident that I know that I can trust it, that whatever it is that should be or will be is because everything I've actioned right now has changed that better outcome, okay? Um, you're already doing all of that, um, and a lot of it has been letting go of previous things that have held you back and then stopping and saying, okay, now that I'm moving forward, um, uh, I don't want any more uh, obstacles. I don't want any more things to get in my way. I need you to stop and go, you know what? If something does kind of get in the way just a little bit, it's just realigning it for the end result to be even better. So can we trust that process done? Okay. Um, you're definitely doing what you need to do that is for you futuristically, but you need to understand the past has been already written. Okay. And technically, also, the future has already been written. So what I need you to do is focus on your today. What can you do today that betters what you're doing tomorrow? And that way, you'll always feel like you are moving forward, okay? And you are definitely moving forward anyhow, okay? So keep moving with that. Oh, thanks, Angela. Uh, hi, Eva. We've got Janine Baker giving some flowers. Thank you, gorgeous. Um, now... I would like some guidance with relationship at work and relationships work. Um, Nicole, when you say that, are you suggesting you want guidance around work slash relationships or relationships, one topic, work, another topic? Uh, I'm going to suggest that it's part and parcel and it's relationships work orientated uh, because that's actually the dynamic that we want to have a look at. Um, 
Look, we're not in any workplace to make friends, okay? That's just the reality of life. Uh, if we happen to walk away with a friendship, that's fantastic. Um, we are there for our own uh, sole purpose. And sometimes there'll be certain characters in that environment that we don't naturally gel with, but that's also part and parcel of the lesson and part and parcel of the learning. Um, because the work uh, dynamic for you at the moment is a little bit of a floating scale, it's moving up and down just a little bit. Uh, part of that is self-motivation and really wanting to push your career forward. And the other part is also you not wanting to step on other people's toes and not, um, I guess, be uh, intimidating. Um, they're reminding you that all you need to do is keep solid to the high achiever that you are, okay? Being a natural perfectionist, other people are going to feel a little bit intimidated or they are going to feel a little bit like um, you're stepping on their toes or this is their territory and this is their turf. We are primal at the end of the day, so animal instinct uh, naturally kicks in where we want to protect ourselves just a little bit uh, in that workspace or in that environment. Uh, you're always going to have that up against other people, Dale, where they're going to feel a little bit uh, inferior to you for whatever reason reason uh it's the confidence that you immute out um that uh i guess pushes on their insecurity please don't allow that to deter your pathway okay um trust and know that the reason that you're doing the line of work that you are is because it gives you the opportunity to aid and help others along the way, okay? So can we trust that one just a little bit there, Dale? That would be amazing. Uh, okay, uh, Laura Lee Bond um, would like a spirit message. Thank you for your time. Sweetheart, as we've already come uh, to you today, we're going to kind of keep moving along the line. Uh, if anything does come up a little bit later and I've got time for it, I certainly will, okay? Uh, we've got Angela Phillips um, there as well. We've got Jeanette Wells who says they're watching. Uh, we've got Maureen Hunt. Please help at the end of the tether here. Oh, gorgeous. I'm sorry to hear that you're feeling a little bit uh, broken uh, with your pathway. Um, there's so many different things that Spirit wants to throw at you uh, while I'm looking at this. Uh, one thing after another after another. Uh, a lot of it's coming up around family. A lot of it's coming up around romantic relationship. Um, some of those breakdowns and some of the things that you're struggling through. Um, you are actually doing a really good job of navigating yourself through um, all of that uh, part of it. I think a lot of it is... Um, on the path and on the journey, it can often feel very isolating and like you're doing it all alone, even though you've got other people around you. Um, I need you to trust the process, Del, that it's not always going to stay this way. Um, that as you start to work through the um, priorities in your path and in your journey, what are your needs and how to meet those needs and how to focus on your own happiness and what does that look like um, and recognizing you don't need all these external things to get to that bliss. Um, you'll start to feel a little bit of your anxiety and start to feel a little of the depression that you've got going on there uh, subside. Um, of course, not until things make change uh, will all of that uh, really dissipate, but it certainly will alleviate as you go. Um, one of the harder things for you, Dal, is uh, emotionally, um, you're not a great sharer. You don't like anybody else to see your troubles, your worries, your concerns. Um, so you tend to not really put your hand up properly and ask for help by those that are around you. Um, part of that can be a little bit of fear of them knowing what's going on in your life. Um, part of that can also be uh, just uh, the awkward elephant in the room where you just don't want everyone else to know your uh, personal space. Um, what I would be saying to you is right now, um, you don't really need to be bringing in every other person who's going to give an opinion or that's going to have a perspective on what's going on there. Um, rather, uh, navigate it in your own way where you're sitting with your own thoughts. So finding time to sit still, to meditate on it uh, and just create a little bit of confidence in yourself that you're uh, dealing with things the way that you know that you need to. So when somebody asks you a question, uh, rather than answering emotionally or rather just answering with order 
sort of dialogue of what's been playing in your mind, uh, take a moment to um, just digest it, think it through, and then answer both ways um, so that you've answered knowingly that you're speaking your truth, okay? Um, there's a lot of hurt around your sweetheart, uh, a lot of... Um, uh, sadly unshed tears uh, because even that part you don't like to show everybody you don't really like to expose any of that sweater uh, and that's okay that you're a very private person um, but again a platform like this wouldn't be the right type of platform for me to really delve deep into uh, some of the deep-seated things that are going on there uh, abandonment is definitely one that comes up quite a lot for you sweetheart and just not feeling that others have got your back okay um, so reminding yourself that you are always uh, the most important person uh in your own world okay uh we have now got sophie adams would love some guidance please health and career uh, Sophie, not necessarily getting a lot coming in for you doll and that often can be um when you've uh, actually kind of already made decisions and you know exactly kind of where you're at with everything um spirit doesn't really feel the need to intervene or overly uh redirect it um when it comes to the career side of things there is still a little bit of jumping around going on here uh but they show me that it's more i'm refining it okay so uh you know what you want to do you know what you want to achieve you know how you want to achieve it uh it's more a situation of um, when we're looking at the career path, um, you're being a little bit impatient with the line of work and wanting it to go a certain way. Uh, you've got to slow it down, babe. Okay. They're saying slow it down. Uh, stop rushing along. You're going to be fine here. Okay. Uh, Janine Bowker, uh, we have already had a bit of a chat with you, sweetheart. So we're going to keep pushing along. Uh, we've got Janine Brody, uh, wanting a bit of guidance on health, which we've already kind of addressed. Uh, we're going to keep moving along here. We've got Hayley Stanfield, Layla watching. Hi, guys. Whoops. Let's just... My phone's decided it wants to do something. Here we go. Uh, spirit intervening with something. So there's obviously something that I need to come back to. So hang on. We have got Tanya Giles wanting a general read here. Uh, okay. Uh, Tanya... Um, there's a question mark about uh, wanting to change something outdoors. Uh, this could be an outdoor entertaining area or an outdoor space that you're wanting to do. Um, and they keep telling me that uh, you can't really do it the way that you want to do it. Uh, that could be finance, that could be funding, that could be others not necessarily in agreement with you. Uh, but they keep showing me something that's like a platform or like a landing and you're going to get it done, babe. Okay, so they want you to know whatever this outdoor area is, uh, your own little personal sanctuary, your own little space and whatever it is that you need to change and shift in here to create a bit of uh, relaxation for yourself, you're going to get it done, okay? So uh, just keep uh, putting that out there, sweetheart. Um, you need to do a lot more with um, spending time in nature, whether that be your own garden or whether that is uh, just being outdoors in general. So all good here. Uh, Janine... Janine Voiced, uh, I hope you're still there. Uh, let me see... Um, Janine voiced. All right. Uh, any messages? Uh, Janine, again, not a great deal coming in for you, love. Uh, not for any particular uh, reason. Uh, sometimes it can just be um, spirit kind of feels like you're okay for the moment. Um, not that everybody doesn't have something going on. Of course, we naturally all do. Um, one of the things, Janine, uh, that they are bringing up is about um, learning to actually um, bring your different groups of friendships together a little bit. Uh, you've got a lot of different subgroups and that's fine. Um, but that person knows a little bit of you that way. That person knows a little bit of you that way. A lot of diversity, um, trying to find ways to blend that in a little bit so that you're not split in so many different directions. Okay. Um, gorgeous that you do love so many multitude of different types of people. I think you'd be bored uh, without that diversity, uh, of course, but uh, they keep showing me um, trying to kind of juggle everybody or trying to kind of please everybody and then not finding room to please yourself. So learning to, um, you know, bridge those gaps with others, okay? Um, sometimes we can assume that certain people won't get along with each other, but in fact, they will. Uh, there's uh, usually something that they can connect, connect with, okay? Uh, we've got uh, Prue Ellis McDonald. Okay. 
All right. Uh, Prue says, good day. I would love some guidance for Ari finances, please. Okay. Um, Prue, uh, there's been a few little hiccups and hurdles with um, finances in a sense, okay? Uh, but they do show me it's not so much any one thing. It's really just ingoings and outgoings and uh, really just trying to get your balance with everything. Uh, they tell me that uh, you started to focus on cleaning it all up, which I can see for the most part, all of those documentations, all of those paperwork, uh, you have kind of compiled it. But now it's a matter of um, actually working through them one by one to get your balance back, okay? Um, and one of the things that you kind of are doing is your your main goal is to try and chisel off all those bits and pieces. What's a more effective way is keep going with the balance of what you're doing, live off the general budget that you've got, then any extra that you have, saving it to the side, when that builds up nicely into a lump sum, then you take that and you dump it on the bits and pieces that you need in order to break through with that financial freedom, okay? Um, so you're definitely heading that in the right direction for me, love. Uh, I don't feel financially um, it's a negative. I can see, uh, if anything, uh, the financial balance uh, is starting to shape it's starting to move it's the discipline that needs to really step in and you're already starting to do that Del. a lot of those financial matters were not problems that you created yourself do you understand that uh, a lot of it is being cleaned up or being um, redirected from the past so you're going to get there um, spirit doesn't hand us more than we can handle okay and I can see you're going to get there Okay. Hi, Irene. Hi, Laura Lou. Uh, hi, Jody Rooks. Uh, Jody, you're wanting some guidance around uh, love and romantic relationship. Um, Jody, this is an interesting one because I do see that uh, there is a character around you. Um, I can't necessarily label it though, so it doesn't necessarily come through with that whole, you know, we're in, in partnership or we're whatever, it just seems to have uh, untitled behavior. Um, and I think the hard part there is, it makes it very difficult to navigate the relationship, where to from here, you know, how much energy, how much effort, how much everything do we put into a relationship? And I can see that, um, Part of the issue is more the other party uh, not necessarily giving the, the, the energy back to the relationship. So when I see this or when I look at it, it comes across like uh, more like feeling like you're crushing rather than feeling like you know exactly where you stand, okay? Um, honestly, sweetheart, you just got to demand to know uh, whether or not it's worth your time and your energy of investing in this relationship. Um, if they can't give you clarity and you're still willing to be patient and wait for things to arrive, uh, that's all good, but you've got to have a cut of time, okay? You need to be able to say, right, uh, this no longer works for me move on next okay um at the end of the day with relationship the most important part is to recognize between your attributes of a personality their attributes of a personality how compatible actually are you and of the goals in life how well do they match so say for example if you're uh crushing on somebody who says look i don't ever want to live with someone when living with somebody could be important to you you don't keep pursuing the relationship you continue to move on okay so know your own rules know your own boundaries okay and very much focus on what you want out of the relationship okay so uh when we talk about what we want out of the relationship uh we also have to consider what do we need out of the relationship and our needs and wants should uh be reasonably balanced with that partner Okay, so uh, take a little bit of time here, reflect on it a little bit, don't rush anything here, there's, there's no timeline as such, but know when uh, you've hit your timeline of going, you know what, this is my cutoff point, okay? So good luck with all of that there, Jung. Uh, we've got Jean, Gina Cabo. 
Boney, I think it is. Uh, Gina, uh, as you know, I don't actually read cards, sweetheart. Uh, I am the actual instrument. Um, but uh, what I will put to you is that um, they are wanting to acknowledge uh, aspects of um, relationship and celebration. They keep talking about relationship and celebration. Uh, so there may be some good news on the horizon or somebody celebrating something that uh, they want you to be uh, included in or part of. Um, again, uh, because you are naturally a very free-spirited person, you just do what you want to do when you want to do it. If you don't want to do it, uh, you'll simply decline. So uh, again, I've got no issues or concerns with any of that, Dal. Um, Again, uh, ceremonies and celebrations very much surrounding you, so I don't know who exactly is doing what. Uh, they're not being that direct with me. Uh, and also, we don't want to necessarily spoil anybody's surprise if that's uh, the situation. Um, but lots of new things on the horizon for you, Del. Uh, inclusive of uh, there's a money thing coming in as well. Uh, I don't know exactly what that is. Uh, this could be something like investment or investment property or something like that. Uh, that might have been uh, something that you've been working towards or goals that you've been wanting to achieve. So. Uh, uh, it doesn't mean that you're purchasing this anytime soon or that you're engaging with it anytime soon. Uh, we're just mind mapping it a little bit better to get some of those goals up and happening. Okay, so all in the right direction. Uh, to Neil O'Brien, uh, hopefully you're still there. All right. Um, do, do, do. um Okay, um, Tanil, uh, there's lots of changes around your sweetheart and it keeps coming up around studies, ambitions, goals, career pathways. Uh, you've procrastinated quite a bit on the path and on the journey as to which direction you've wanted to go. Uh, and then you started a couple of things and perhaps dropped a few of those and kind of come back around to it and gone, okay, no, no, this is really what I want to do. Um, they're letting you know that you're now heading your career path in the right direction. Um, there is a shift and change on the horizon uh, as far as the career path goes, but it's a positive shift shift and change okay so again ticking all those boxes okay now I've got only got about 10 minutes left um so I'm going to quickly kind of scroll through uh everybody else that's still floating there uh Talia King you're more than welcome my darling uh we're going to keep pushing uh across here uh and whoever is the last person that I am drawn to uh will probably get the last of my time okay um, I will do shout outs to everybody, but that doesn't mean that I'm going to be stopping. Um, the shout out of saying your name is actually, uh, what I would normally do in a session. I would ask you for your name. It's actually your way of consenting to me, uh, that you allow me to have a look at everything in your world. Of course, uh, by you posting along here, uh, you are creating that consent, but it's still important for me to send the name vibration up there and to allow either your guides or my guides to step in and answer accordingly. Uh, so we've got Amy, uh, we've got Gina. Hi guys. We've got, um, uh, Janine Barker, thank you, gorgeous, for the roses. It's beautiful. Uh, we've got Ashley Highland. Is there any reason why I'm not able to move forward in course creation? Uh, is it the right way to go right now to support flow of money? Um, sweetheart, uh, you're going to have to tune back into me next week for me to answer that. There's uh, one too many things for me to look at in the short span of time. Um, and it's a double blade because they're showing me uh, in some part yes and in some part no. Uh, so it actually is going to require a little bit more of my attention than just a straightforward answer. Uh, hi, Rhonda. Hi, Tony. Uh, De Kucha, I would like guidance um, with my daughter with special needs um sweetheart would love to actually answer that again not going to really have the time for it um i do see that you have got um certain things that are already in order uh with her as far as um outside aid and help and support um you don't always get that with your family though and uh from uh the father figure doesn't always uh, step in and do all of those bits and pieces uh but um in regards to where she's at uh what you need to do is you need to walk away ask her permission for me to have a look on on uh the outcomes for her uh i can tell you right now how it affects you but i can't tell you what's right for her by doing it in that platform okay so uh if you want to tune in at six o'clock next week i'm back on uh normally i we talk about a topic um spirits are actually really enjoying free flowing and uh just hitting each person up as they come in uh and if you guys are happy to do that would love your feedback would love your comments um inside of that uh don't forget if you also want to tune in to me or connect with me directly uh you can do so through Haley david heavenly connected uh international psychic medium uh, the little symbol here in the background is my business symbol. When you see that come up in your Facebook, whatever, uh, that's my page. Hit me up there uh, and uh, send messages or book for private sessions inside of that. 
Uh, we've got uh, Lauren uh, Riley saying thank you. Thank you, gorgeous, right back. Uh, Vanessa Clairvoyant, hey, beautiful lady. Um, as you know, uh, there's lots going on uh, around there. Uh, you're asking, uh, hey, they're wondering if you have any guidance around my mouth, teeth, pain issues. Um, sweetheart, uh, there is something that comes up in the back um, side here. Uh, it does need uh, to be looked at. There is uh, two issues. One looks like it's a hole uh, in one tooth and the other looks like it's a nerve. So uh, you're definitely going to need to um, resolve that. Um, there's also a little bit of gum damage and a little bit of um, perishing issues going on there. Uh, so you're going to have to, um, yeah, get the dentist just onto that one okay uh, I would love to give you a little bit more of that but I can't literally uh get in there and have a proper look um yeah for now uh definitely ne you, you're needing to get on top of it though they're showing me um if you don't uh you're going to create abscess or you're going to create something um that bloom balloons out the the dental um so get on top of that okay uh we've got jordan asking about what does future hold for me and my boyfriend sweetheart not going to have time to um get into all of that please do come back on board uh six o'clock next week um that would be great um like guidance around daughter special needs which we've already addressed uh what timeline for me to meet up with my partner eva um well eva as you know um there there is some complex uh dynamics around that relationship um as we said before uh my recommendation though is that uh looking at how do we move it from it being the way that it is? So I don't know if that's proximity that's causing this or uh, separation of, of space or whatever that's causing the connection uh, not to quite work out. A uh, person keeps being shown to me further away from you. So I, I would say that uh, that line of timing uh, is going to just jump around just a little bit. We, we can't be that direct if you're not necessarily in the same proximity as each other. So a uh, little bit of a tough one. Um, I, I probably would recommend uh, just trying to set some planning up in, in some way, shape and form, uh, whether that be online, whether that be in other platforms to help move it along. Uh, I'm going to keep moving here. We've got Maggie Thatcher. Hi, Maggie. We've got Tammy Helen Scott. Hi, guys. Um, <laughs> Janine says need to clean my glasses sweetheart me too I can literally feel my glasses sweating and fogging up underneath here yeah. um all good uh standing at my crossroads right now would love to hear what comes through as the next step much love to you and thank you uh Sharon sweetheart uh we did address you a little bit earlier and more than happy to have a look at all of that next week if you want to come join back in uh I'm looking for just one last person in my last five minutes um before I have to go um man in my future would love some guidance to my future health and where to live a little bit of guidance on how things are going any messages i would love to hear what's in for me um thank you uh laura lou oh that's gorgeous what a lovely message on love please on the future hold my boyfriend i have been five missed I had a miscarriage five months ago. Uh, again, um, be mindful, guys, of uh, when you're asking for certain questions um, to try not to make them too private, uh, especially if they involve another person because the other person hasn't actually given consent for us to do this in such a public platform. And um, it is uh, always good if you're going to ask about another person. So if you're going to ask about partner, if you're going to ask um, about um, your children, if you're going to ask about family members, um, that you do kind of give them a little bit of a heads up that that might be something that you ask about. Um, I think it's really um, vital uh, in, a, in a public um, space like this that um, – as an, as an instrument uh, for spirit that I don't over cross any boundaries. I think it's really important. I know a lot of other people in the industry do. I'm old school, okay? Uh, I'm taught by spirit. They're not going to change any of that. Um, they're going to keep the boundaries and the rules very, very clear for me. Um, so 
if it does involve somebody else, you, you really do need to kind of ask that as a bit more of a private question away from the um, platform. Um, I can tell you how something might affect you. Like um, you, if you ask the question, like, you know, how will things between me and my partner go? Or, you know, is there anything that my partner and I could do to improve our relationship? I can answer those questions because I'm not talking about the partner themselves. I'm talking about the impact of the relationship to you okay so you you just got to keep those little things uh in mind okay um with uh my guides uh, i have 12 okay and each one steps in accordingly depending on the nature of the question depending on the person that i'm working with and then we also have your guides that can step in and then we also have loved ones also coming in uh today i've made it a little bit strict that we can't really uh use loved ones because the speed of the way they're bringing the information is a little bit too slow uh we did have one somewhere along the way um that came in for somebody uh, and I'm okay with that because the nature was about guidance, uh, not so much about messages from loved ones, okay? Uh, obviously in my private sessions, messages from loved ones is of course uh, the most important part uh, in many ways, but also looking about future and, and so forth. Um, so these are just some of my rules and some of my bits and pieces. Um, at this point, uh, I'm assuming that Spirit may like to do this next week. I don't know. Uh, I don't know really until 10 minutes before I'm about to come up live, uh, exactly the nature that we're going to head, okay? Um, thank you all so much for uh, joining in. Um, Laura Lee, um, sorry, Lauren Riley, thank you so much uh, for your comments there. Uh, thank you everybody who joined in. I do deeply apologize that of course I can't get to all of you today. Um, I, as I said, don't use any um, instruments, okay? There are no tarot cards, there are no nothing. Move my hands a lot and sometimes I can talk too fast. Uh, if there are any comments relevant to that, uh, the talking too fast or the moving too much, uh, please do let me know. I'm going to try and use my computer next week. I just find using my phone just a little bit of an easier platform. Uh, it's a bit faster when the messages come in and the ability for me to scroll back and forth um, in between those messages, okay? Um, again, thank you all for joining me. Uh, I wish you all a blessed night and I do hope that six o'clock next week, uh, more of you can tune in and uh, when you do so, be a little bit clearer with some of those messages, okay? Um, oh, sorry, not the messages, the questions so that the messages can be a little bit clearer. Uh, thank you all. I hope you've really enjoyed. Um, again, uh, much love to each and every one of you. Um, please stay heavenly.